big man how old are you how old are you are you 12 what's good guys it's your girl martika back with another video and if you don't know get to know hit that subscribe button down below also hit that notification bell on the road to a thousand subscribers come on let's get me there join the journey tonight's episode are you 12 years of age are you 12 Gemma is going in for luca going in for luca and why have we not seen this type of drama in the beginning or in the middle like we've seen some but not enough Gemma has had enough so it starts with Gemma and Luca they talk about last night's episode with the um whole like talent show thing Gemma says um how she never got the ick from Luca and all of this yeah they they just they're just chatting doo-doo from last night's episode India and Dami, India's piping her own horn about how she's gonna be bringing that um, recorder home and trying to train herself up and Dami's like nah you're not bringing that home, allow it, I'm gonna try and find that recorder and dash it where grass no grow, that's what he's trying to say. Davida in Ek and Sue situation now, so Davida, Davida didn't realise what he did in yesterday night's episode, he probably just, it probably just went over his head. Why Ek and Sue's pissed is because he basically said oh um I'll, i'm gonna get wild when i'm back in manchester talking about he's gonna get ben Nyash when he's back in manchester and obviously ekin has got every right to feel some type of way every right she obviously she's been a drama queen but i don't know if she's just been a drama queen in last night's episode and was bringing it into tonight's episode for let me carry on it must have hit a nerve for her to hear how he's gonna go wild when he gets back into manchester like can she really trust him like, is he serious? She doesn't know, you know. Yeah, that's why, and I can completely understand why she was pissed off with him. Um, he cuts carbonara or some, he cut some pork, he cut some carbonara again for the, like, the second time running. Everyone's belly must be running after the amount of, like, double cream that they have to be intaking. She basically says to India how she's feeling. Isn't it funny how Ekinsu always runs to India for advice? But yet still, she doesn't run to Gemma for advice or she doesn't, like, Gemma's never there for Ekinsu. But yet still, Ekinsu thinks that Gemma's her best friend or bestie in there. Like, it's always India, always India. But wasn't it a couple of nights ago, wasn't it the other night that Ek Ekinsu pushed away India when um, India congratulated her and Davide for, you know, making it exclusive? I was thinking, that's a bit weird. That's a bit sus. Um, but yeah, India was there to console... Um, India was there to console Ek and Sue about the whole situation. Um, and then later on, Davide shouts how he doesn't care. She's just a drama queen. And I'm thinking, oh my God, them two just need to actually sit down and have a talk about it. This is the same thing that happened a couple of weeks ago. They, they didn't sit down and communicate. Um, that's a problem. That's one of the things that's going to mess them two up um, if they are trying to work on the outside. She basically tells India how she's a sensitive girl. Why would she want to hear like that he's gonna get wild? Why would he want to hear that he's gonna get wild when he gets back to Manchester? He obviously didn't remember it from yes yesterday night's episode. It went over his head. Um, I think they just need to have a chat. Do you know what? They them two they need to get into the hideaway at this point. The way she's moaning up in this episode tonight, she needs the hideaway sexually frustrated all over written all over her face because these arguments are so petty between them but then the islanders get gassed because producers have given them snacks and treats like it's the end of the school year as well then pff, my eyes were burnt out tonight we see andrew and tasha opening up beauty salon pumping gas there was no stop there was just pumping pumping gas tonight me and india get a little bit cozy in the bed Paige and adam do their kissing in the bed tonight and then the next morning, who do you see letting off rip, letting off gas up in that bed? Dami. Gemma couldn't resist to smell the stink. She couldn't resist, but she laughed it off and walked off. She's like, nah, this is disgusting. This is too much. I don't know, I don't understand how this man's farts are that long. It's all that carbonara that Davide is cooking every night. Them lot are just eating milk on milk on milk, dairy, dairy, dairy. Farting, farting, farting. So then the girls are on the terrace and people are asking whose beauty salon was open. And it was of course Tasha's because she her she was pumping that gas and he and Andrew's pumping gas too. Them two, the beauty salon, the barbers was open. So then the boys decide to do something nice for the girls. They're talking about beauty salon, spa. Adam goes upstairs with his clenched buttocks and tells the girls what's going on. And Gemma's running straight up into the beauty room and says, listen, the boys are actually going to be giving us massages. She starts like bending over to check herself. I don't know what she had to do, but she's checking herself. Ekin Suze shaving her batty. She's like, no, they're going to see our bum hair and all this. I'm like, 
it's not that deep it's just a little massage the way Gemma ran in the room just to tell the girls that the, the boys are going to be giving massages and all of them things but then Gemma Tasha Page cheers to the boys being simps basically how they've been whipped for them doing this whole spa for the girls Ekin she was just enjoying 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 every little moment she was enjoying she's been moaning hard up in this um in this episode tonight that like, Sue was enjoying it she was actually thinking about italian sausage when davide was there massaging her she was loving it she, like i said she needs that hideaway frustrated it's funny when there's a text about to come in the producers must tell um the islanders to like come up with something random and stupid then the text comes in and they've got to do a flight attendant challenge mile high it starts off with Danica doing her whole like listen she's got sex appeal she's got it she's got the sex appeal she comes in and she gives it she gives it to all the boys listen I feel like honestly I'm gonna say it now because we know who won this challenge I feel like Danica should have won that challenge Ekin Sue should have won that challenge or even India should have won that challenge I don't know why the boys went and gave it to Paige like just to boost her confidence what for? She, she's already boosted her confidence when she talks like this still grinding my gears this girl Paige I love the way Danica always goes 100% out when she does the challenges Ekin Sue she talks about how there's a large item in this um, area and she starts putting the seatbelts on the guy and bear moaning she just can't help herself in tonight's episode and Tasha does a whole like tease with Andrew Dami's there talking about how he loves that type of thing hint hint to India because it seems like it's I don't know and Paige is all over Dami and India's looking over like bits us there I don't know like they're not are they really friends I think they are a bit too close for my liking as well I'm seeing it they are a bit too close but like Paige was just whispering like she she sounded like a mouse she weren't even like speaking loud enough to you know for everyone to hear what she was saying or whispering in the boys ears and I was like okay India comes in she's like yeah the next flight's to India I love the line that she came out with Gemma Gemma the drama this is where the drama's gotta start Gemma comes out she goes and licks Adam's chest and all them things Luca, Luca pushes her to the side when it's his turn, hides the belt in his boxers and he's like, he, he kind of just pies her to the side and then he, he, she calls him a prick and all them things. And I think, why is he overreacting? Why is he acting like this? Like, what a, a big time waste man. Luca was definitely giving his angry inside but he can't like express it there and then. I was just sitting there like, ooh, because Luca can't control that situation. And it's always when it's in a challenge, he's pissed at Gemma doing some some action when it's just a game how is he not screaming it's just a game now how is he not screaming that but yeah Gemma ain't stupid she goes all out when it's the challenges and I don't blame her because she's there held hostage by this Luca you and like she wants to explore the options but obviously it's too late now it's final week she's done with this view she's done with him yeah like I said how did Paige win this challenge she shouldn't have won it like I said the other girls probably should have won that um, I love the way Ekin Sue gave shade when it's the girls talking. She's like, everyone did 10 out of 10 girls. Congrats to, congrats to you, Paige. You did well. Um, but the girls did give 10 out of 10 as well. Shade. She literally shaded Paige without everyone even knowing. She shaded her. Um, yeah, Paige did not deserve to win that. What did she even give? She was just doing cutesy vibes. She said cutesy vibes. India was at the pool, Ek and Sue and Adam. So then Luca's in the pool and Luca's there talking about how Gemma's in a mood. Gemma was not in a mood. I feel like she was actually calm. Gemma seems cool. Like I think Luca wanted to aggravate her to make it seem like she's in the mood when basically he's, just, he's basically just ga he basically just gaslights her in tonight's episode. She puts him in his place and I was like, yes, too right it's time them to go for a chat their first chat since the whole challenge and like is a big dunce is a dunce like he's there coming off with it was banter and at first i was in a mood but now i'm not so then she corrects him she corrects him and puts him in his place and says so that means you was in a mood so why did you not why can't you just admit that you was in a mood for me doing whatever you, th you thought i did like it was just he she only licked adam and the thing is Paige licked Luca, so what's the difference? Why is he getting in a mood with her and she can't be in a mood with him? Not that she would ever be in a mood with him for Paige licking him because she doesn't she does she knows it's a game and she knows it's a challenge, it's not that deep. She's never upset about those types of things, but Luca always is. 
he's a gaslighter, the hypocrisy from him tonight. He's definitely annoyed, he just didn't want to admit it to her, he didn't want to seem like he was the one that's gaslit the whole thing, and he did, he gaslit everything. He was contradicting himself and he walks out of the villa. He walks out of the villa and has a whole tantrum, takes off his mic and sits on the naughty step. Eke, my girl, she was back in Gemma, but is Gemma ever back in her? No. Gemma speaks to India about it. Ain't funny again, everyone's coming to India for the advice. Um, she she, ta she relays the information back to India and says what happened. Gemma was not in the wrong, for, she didn't do nothing. She didn't do nothing wrong. Um, Luca expected that he could just gaslight her and get away with it, thinking that Gemma wouldn't clock. He was big, big mad in tonight's episode. All about, just about some lip lick, just some lip lick. And he basically, he's basically saying how Gemma went all out, Gemma did this and I'm just like, in comparison to the rest of the girls, all Gemma did was lick Adam, probably licked Andrew on the back of his ear or something like that. Tasha looked, she wasn't upset. Like, it's not that deep, Luca. He's very possessive and she just needs to run a bloody mile. Run a mile. And then another thing, and then Dammy. Dammy the doofus. Why is he sticking up for Luca? All of the man them sticking up for Luca. Adam sticking up for Luca. Dammy sticking up for Luca saying how, um, how Luca's in the right for what he's saying. I'm like, are these like blindsided about um, what Luca's actually done? Dammy, trying to, Dammy was trying to validate um, Luca's response and saying how, yeah, he was right in what he's saying. I'm just like, no, they're all simps. All of the man them are simps. Simps for Luca. It seems like they're simps for Luca, but wasn't it a couple of weeks ago, Dammy was telling um, Luca, Luca how he's fake. But yet still, all, all Gemma's done is lick man in a challenge, but yet still, she's in the wrong. In the wrong for what? Listen, she don't want this little fishy fishy brother because he's acting bare fishy. So then it's night time and they do the whole cheers thing. And some of, some, of the, some of the islanders are by the fire pit. Davide agrees and he basically is saying that it's not, it's not one of the worst things that has happened. Like it wasn't even a worst, it wasn't even a bad challenge. It wasn't a worst challenge. And, um, it's, and it's not that deep. And I agree with him because it ain't that deep. Luca's just lost in his head. Then, then Gemma says how Luca wasn't supportive of her. Like she, he knows that um, he knows that she's not confident in certain challenges, and she, she just he just made her feel like even more uncomfortable um, with the way he pied her to the side. Like yeah, no, I feel like Gemma was right in this situation tonight. And for Dami to come off talking about how it was stubbornness, I didn't see any stubbornness from it from. From Gemma's side I just think Gemma was right in what she was saying Luca was ve Luca's very stubborn it's Luke the stubbornness comes from Luca look how he whipped off his mic and went and sat on the noise step outside because he wanted like all the attention to come to him like he should have pulled Gemma and said listen I wasn't happy about it and da -da 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 -da, but why should you not be even happy about it? It was just a challenge. It's not that deep at the end of the day. So then later on in the episode, he does pull her for a chat, a final chat, and he, he kind of throws it back in her face and says, oh, um, I'll remember this. I'll, I'll, I'll remember this. Like Then later on in the episode, he does pull her for a chat and he says, I'll remember this. Like, I didn't like it, but I'll remember it. Kind of gaslighting her. And I'm just thinking like, he's so... I'm just thinking he's so selfish. I didn't like it, but I remember it kind of gaslighting her. I'm just thinking he's so selfish. I really don't think it will work on the outside. Then he asked, do you think this is gonna work on the outside? And he, she said, obviously, and walks off. I don't know if he said, will it work on the outside? For her to walk off, I think they're basically done. They're over, there's no going back for them. They're finished. For them to still be in the competition, obviously votes were done yesterday, so they're still gonna be in the competition. Um, I think Fiat 500, they're really just rooting for Gemma and Luca at this point. Andrew and Tasha, the room for. How is it that Damian and are in the bottom, Danica and Jamie are in the bottom? How? Just how? I'm I'm happy that Adam and Paige are in the bottom because people are seeing their their fake, their fakery, fakeness. They deserve to be in the bottom. India and Dami, they need to be. They should not have been in the bottom. Danica and Jamie, I can understand why they're in the bottom because they just become a couple and they're not as compatible or they're not as they're not a favourite. But anyway, guys, yeah. That's my review. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.